So aside from the dentist and hospital to get free healthcare, where else can I go in Sweden to have a good time? Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between, hello, welcome to the channel. Today we'll be checking out the top places to visit in Sweden. We've done a couple of these um, travel videos, but we have not done Sweden, which lately has bumped up to like the top place on my list. Finland, Sweden, the Netherlands, even though I've already been, all those countries are now on my to-do list whenever it comes to travel. If you didn't know, I'll be graduating nursing school in December and will be able to travel and do whatever I want with more time. So I'm going through these videos and basically compiling the list of places to visit whenever I do get to go back to Europe. And yeah, let's get into it. Comment some of your places or favorite places down below that you think tourists will like in your country and we can definitely react to it. But as of right now, we're getting into Sweden. Literally everything I've heard about Sweden, it, there's never been a bad thing. It's only good things about Sweden. The people are happy, free healthcare, free dentistry, all that. So what do you have to complain about? Nothing. Let's get into it. Sweden is a popular tourist destination, and for a good reason. Yeah. The rich heritage, remarkable beauty, it's and so unique pretty. culture make it an experience outside of what we normally get to see. See. Now, am I wrong to say, like, does Sweden have a, um, Vikings, basically? Because the headdresses and stuff kind of... What the? Hold on one second. My bad, y'all. That was my job, Colin. My other job. If you don't know, I work in the hospital. Yeet! Back to the video! Let's go to Sweden! ...fully get to see. Sweden is a top pick for many people looking for a relaxing retreat. And if you are one of them, no beach, here are though. 13 amazing places you won't want to miss. Number 1. Vasa Museum. If you've ever wondered what it was like to sail the seven seas as a Viking, visit- What did I say? What did I say? I said they look like Vikings. I know my stuff. Like to sail the seven seas as a Viking, visiting the Vasa Museum could be your closest Crazy. shot at doing so. This museum is for the only 17th century ship ever to be restored. Wow. It was pulled from the bottom of the ocean where it wrecked over 300 years ago and now gives you a chance to see the full ship in great detail. So many iconic things going on here. The fact that they were able to resurrect this big ass boat from the bottom of the ocean. The fact that it's 300 plus years old. The fact that the Vikings were able to carve these intricate curves and statues and stuff using what tools i don't know probably like sticks and knives and stuff just the history of it all and like what's the word what's the word when you when you hold something holy that's what i think of whenever i think of history it's very holy and righteous even though a lot of the things people did back in the day weren't righteous just history in general is very righteous to me it's like very special a wondrous experience. You won't find another like it anywhere else in the world. Don't tell me they're stuffing people. I hope that's like a clay museum, because if... We see what they did with the slaves of America, and they made like couches and stuff out of our hair, and... I hope this and that's not what this is. Ooh. For the history- Number 2. Drottningholm Palace. Palace? For the history buff out there, getting a chance to see Drottningholm Palace is another once-in-a-lifetime experience. This palace goes back centuries, but what is particularly amazing about it is the theater on site. You can still catch a show in it at certain times a year and it is the only 18th century theater in the world that still uses the original machinery. That is crazy. It's like this- it's so pretty. You don't get things like this in America, like... Just the space. Over here, we feel like every, there's no, the only place you see like open space and greenery is in the countryside. And nobody wants to be in the countryside. Nobody wants to travel over to the country. There's nothing to do. But the fact that y'all just have greenery and beautiful walkways is appreciated. It's very nice. If you miss this chance on your visit to Sweden, you won't get another anywhere else. Yeah. Number three, Ice Hotel, Jukas Jar. What? Feeling a little too hot Hi! this summer? Why not sleep in a bed made of ice? And oh my god. What? This is, okay, this is actually really, really cool. The igloo, the, the prettiness of it. This is n something I could never do in America. Sleep inside of the ice hotel. That screams um, Scandinavia, Norway, Finland, Sweden. That's awesome, for real. I want to do that for sure. 
At the Ice Hotel, you can have this opportunity ice all year hotel. long with a little all help year? from solar panels, keeping that ice cool. Every year wow. a new one is built, so you may also get a chance oh to see the construction in action next to the modern hotel. Okay, be honest. Do y'all just go around your country and just take Instagram photos? Because I'm thinking of all the fire Instagram pictures. And I know people say don't go on vacation with thinking about social media. But like, obviously I want to go somewhere that is like beautiful. And Sweden looks like it has endless opportunity. But this is one of a kind. Where else, aside from Antarctica, where else could you go to an ice hotel? Let me know. Nowhere. It's a perfect way that to spend insane. at least one night of your stay and an experience you won't soon forget. Sweden. Number four, Burka. Everybody loves Vikings yes. and Burka is the perfect place to see how they lived and worked. Originally built as early as 700, Burka may well have been Sweden's very first town. 200 years after the rise of Burka, people began abandoning it for unknown reasons. Today, you can still visit it however, and learn more about what it was like to live as a Viking so very long ago in Sweden. I can tell you, they were, they were like, muscular and fit. I would be so sick though. I would rather just be a, um, a gatherer and farmer. Because there's no way I'm going to be doing this all day every day just trying to go to the next town over. My arms would be tired, I'd be tired. Mm -mm. And there's probably like alligators or something in the water too, so you're always fighting for your life. Not worth it. Y'all can go pilgrimage and steal from people by yourself. I'm staying home and planting some berries. Number 5. Sigtuna. Often Sigtuna. referred to as where Sweden begins, Sigtuna is a beautiful Sigtuna. location full of history and pure natural splendor. Visit ancient ruins that will sweep you back in time, rune stones capturing love letters from the past, and some of the most beautiful lakes in the area. If you've been looking- Homie's insane because you know that water's cold. You know it is freezing, and he has a little hat on too. Y'all are built different. I respect you. Looking for refreshing locations to swim in, this is the number one spot in Sweden. Outside the water, there are still plenty of opportunities in this charming little town. The architecture of this town is beautiful and colorful, making it a unique place to visit all on its own. And the green isn't just like a green. The green is green. Like it's it's vibrant and bright. And y'all, I can tell like the structuring of the buildings are very like specific too. From the color scheme to the way there's arches and stuff. Very Swedish. Number six, Abisko. Getting out and experiencing <laughs> nature north of the Arctic Circle. No, thank you. The water's moving way too fast for safety. One misstep, there's no guardrails, I'm dead. I'd rather just see it as a picture or painting. That's scary. Is a large part of the Sweden experience. Abisko is a great place to allow you to do that. With lemmings, reindeer, oh and natural gosh, beauty so everywhere, pretty. it is a hiker's paradise. Yeah. Take photos of majestic waterfalls by day, and then stay up all night watching the northern lights once the sun has finally sunk. The northern lights? What don't y'all have at this point? What does America have that Sweden's don't? What do we have? Guns, but do you want guns? Probably not. But still, we got our guns. What do we have that y'all don't got? <laughs> I, I, I don't even know if I can say it. I already know someone's gonna comment skill shootings every week. You're rude, you're mean, and you're truthful. It's not good. We're moving on. In Abisko, you can do it all. Number 7. Stockholm's Archipelago. Stockholm. Archipelagos are a unique and beautiful part of the natural world. Stockholm's Archipelago features thousands of islands to explore, sandy beaches with spectacular views, and a So is an archipelago just a little community of islands near each other? An unending supply of historical sites to visit. See the graves of Vikings from the past, or Other walk graves. through ancient fortresses still standing to this day. Wow. The opportunities are as vast as the archipelago itself. Wow. Number 8. Wait, wait, wait. He's talking about the graves of actual Vikings. Do you think Ragnar Lothbrok was a real person? With his kids, um, Lagatha, his wife, all of them? Are they real or is that just, like, mythology? Let me know. Or is Viking lore mythology? What are, what are like... Irish and Iceland and Swedish and Scandinavian lore. I call it lore, but it's true. What do y'all call your stories? Let me know. 
Tylosan Beach. It's hard to picture turquoise waters and warm sand in the Arctic Circle, but you can easily forget where you are when you visit Tylosan Beach. The waters here are fairly shallow, making them heat up fast for a warmer swimming experience. Oh, the Jaduka Beach is very nice. I love that. I love the beach. My, one of my, I got, I'm trying to show you, but I can't raise my leg that way. I got a tattoo of a wave because like whenever I first visited the beach, I just felt there was just, it just overpowered me really. So yeah, definitely going to go to y'all's beaches. But as for that cliff diving the guy was doing, you will not catch me doing it. Not me, not black person. First of all, the water rushes up your nose and that hurts. Second of all, you don't know what's in the water. Third of all, you don't know how deep it is. I'm not trying to go to Sweden and come home a quadriplegic. No. Tourists rave about how clean and clear the water is, as well as the convenience of a hotel and restaurant nearby. Yes. Hit the waves and enjoy a day at the beach in this picture-perfect area. Number 9. Smojan. With so many cities and natural wonders to visit, Smojan provides a unique Ooh. change of pace. A fishing village, Smojan gives you the chance to experience life on the water in a new way. Cause I've always wanted to be on a boat and just like get those days where you can just vibe under the sun, on the waves, and just, you know, live. So you can probably rent a boat, I feel like, even if you don't, you've never driven one or you don't have your license or anything. I feel like they probably have touristy spots where you can rent a boat. Here you can try your hand at lobster fishing, eat at some of the best restaurants in the world, wow. or simply shop in one of the many family-owned businesses in town. Oh, family-owned. Number 10. I like that. Areskitan. Hi. This mountain is home to one of the largest ski resorts in Sweden. If you love nothing more than slicing through a fresh layer of powder, Areskitan is a great place to stop on your tour of Sweden. I'm a beginner though. Obviously, like I've, it's been another dream of mine to go skiing or snowboarding, but that that cliff looks steep. I hope they have like kitty slopes because that's where you'll find me. Jesus. During the summer, fresh snow is replaced by greenery and beautiful hiking experiences. Number 11. Vidstina Castle. Huh. This fortress-turned-castle is a beautiful representation of Sweden's past. Oh. Today, the castle is one of the best-preserved examples of Renaissance architecture Ooh. and open to the public for viewing. Renaissance. The castle contains an opera house and museum. Oh. The grounds outside are regularly used for concerts, making it a thriving hub for the culture of Sweden. As so what family or dynasty lived there? Someone let me know. As well as a historic landmark. Number 12. Ailes Steiner. Sweden's version of the Stonehenge, Ailes Steiner, ah. is a series of giant boulders placed in the outline of a ship. So Stonehenge, Scottish people, y'all got your own version. It just looks like little shark teeth, really. No one is quite sure why Ailes Steiner was created, but the power of this majestic location is worthy of a visit. Hmm. It is one of the best preserved stone megalithic monuments in the country and comes with stunning views as well. Huh. A truly unique location. Number 13. Serek National Park. Tangled strands of- mm -mm. Cause, mm -mm. No national parks cause I don't do snakes, I don't do crickets, I don't do none of that. If it's an animal in sight, you won't catch me there. Just because I feel like I respect their environment and I know that they know the land better than I do, so I think I'm just going on a hike. Really, they're plotting on my downfall and trying to eat me, you know? Like, I'm just in this beautiful forest land Little do I know my death is around the corner or underneath this log. So I don't do um, wilderness or none of that, but you will catch me at the beach, not in the ocean, but at the beach. And you'll see me in the city. So let me know what other places you think I should visit and do whenever I get to Sweden or just in Europe in general and what other countries we should check out because I'm down to do it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.